turned these things into me. I don't know what they are. I have nothing on them. Let me proceed calmly. Aw, freak out! You freak, says she. Listen, I avoid using printers as much as I can. Last video I made, I asked you guys what you wanted to hear, if you liked rats. Not for eco-friendly reasons. And I decided that I'm going to do a rant about things every once in a while. For the sole reason. And my first one is going to be about printers. 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 I hate them with a burning, fiery passion in my heart. My mom just moved and I have to try and install and set up her printer and she's been asking me for a week and I haven't because I just don't want to deal with everything that it's going to throw at me that I will want to in turn throw it out the window. So here are the three main problems with a printer. The first is talking to your printer. And no, this isn't the praying please work this time because I have a school assignment to finish and I have to hand it in by noon, so please, I'm printing it at 10. Don't fail me now. Not that kind of talking. I'm talking about the communication between your printer and your computer. There are different ways to go about this. There is the wired and wireless. Both of them have their own headaches. The first problem is wired. Now, with wired, you have to install it onto your computer so that when you plug it into your computer, your computer doesn't go, Oh, what is this for an object? Do I want to use it or is it corrupt? Obviously, it's not corrupt. It's another little technological box near your other... <sighs> I'm calm. Okay, let me, let me proceed calmly. Let it go, let it go. When your computer and printer are trying to connect. They don't always speak the same language. Or you have to install a secondary thing to get your printer to recognize that it can work on your computer, especially if you're working with PC or Mac. Moving on, wireless connection is just as complicated. However, the thing about wireless connection, when you're going into your friend's house and you're like, yo, you got the Wi-Fi code, Holmes? And the other one's like, yeah, bro, I got you. The difference is that the yeah, bro, I got you doesn't happen. The printer can't yeah bro I got you. So if you can't find the printer signal, you either restart the printer or restart your life. Because God, you can't, it just, you'll be searching for the printer, you're like I can't recognize the printer, can't find the printer, don't know which printer you're talking about. Then you have to select the printer and then you have to install the printer again. The installation doesn't go away. Assuming that we get all that set up, Assuming that that goes swimmingly. Now we have number two. Making your documents perfect. Because everyone knows that a printer only prints on one kind of paper. Unless you got a fancy schmancy printer and then in that case I don't even want to talk to you because you got that thing to work which means that you are magic and some kind of dark magic. And you don't want to mess with dark magic. Don't even try to enlarge the margins on your piece of paper in your document, be it Word or Pages or whatever the hell you use. But if your printer's like, Nah, I don't flow that way. Sorry. You're not getting it. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not going to work out for you. Your margins are going to be all screwed up. Your, your spacing, gone. You're trying to write a script? Don't even. Like, just give up writing as a living because you're never going to be able to print something. Never. Ever. It... Just not, no. Let it go. And the actual printing process. So, we had talking to your printer and making the perfect document. The actual printing part takes both of those and flourishes into a vile flower of thorns and just <laughs> smell bad. You have to make your document talk to your printer and be like, Hey, I want to print. That cool with you? And your printer's got to be like, Yeah, I'm cool with you. The thing is, the printer can't jam, needs enough ink, and needs to understand what you're printing. And by that last one, I mean, if you're trying to print an image 
and it's not the correct file, like if you have it under a JPEG when it's supposed to be under something else, it won't print it. It won't even recognize it. If you try and put it on a USB key to skip the whole wireless thing, which is something I try and do, I plug in my USB key, won't it, it'd be like, what? You just plugged in the, don't plug these things into me. I don't know what they are. They have nothing on them. No, I have a picture that I want you to print and let it go. The actual printing process requires you to have all the stars aligned so that the document that you've created is in the format that it needs and demands the amount of ink that it has with the amount of paper that you have left in the tray because lord knows no one keeps count of how many papers you've left in the tray and that today it won't have a hissy fit and jam. If you can get all of those stars aligned on your first shot, you, human, are a god. To conclude this Rant, I avoid printers when I can. I avoid working with them, I avoid installing them, I avoid using them. The amount of times I have gone into school in the morning and had to fight with the printer there. Medic. In this day and age, in 2016, we have technology that is so, we have nanotechnology. And we can't get a printer to function simply. It could be that I just don't have the right printer, or have been extremely unlucky with my printer experience. But let me tell you, you will have these experiences. And if you are a student, you have had these experiences. That is all for this rant. My name is Kelly. This is Holtzy's Hangouts. Subscribe if you enjoyed this and want some more. Like if you like this one in particular and share it with other people so that you guys can all relate to the struggle that is dealing with the printer. Till next time. See ya.